I woke up this morning and I was thinking to myself, man, it's really dark out for a new day. And I mean, daylight savings time was just on Sunday. And of course it gets a little bit, it takes a little longer to, to get lighter in the mornings. But I realized, I was like, wait a second. I looked at the weather and it said it was supposed to thunderstorm. So this whole morning up until I'd say about 1230, it has been dark. It was really, really dark. And I was actually on a call doing a training and on this call, it just started raining like crazy. And it got so dark. I literally had to turn all the lights on because I felt like it was nighttime. And then, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. And then, as you can see, it's bright out right now. Like, it's, it's extremely bright. You can see the sun starting to shine. And I'll keep this video short and sweet. You've heard it plenty of times. You got to go through the storm in order to see the light. And that, that phrase is just so true because no matter where you're at in your life, whether it's your career, maybe you're looking to level up, maybe you're looking to, to get that promotion. Maybe you're wondering, man, when, am, when is this fighting going to stop with my spouse? When is this fighting going to stop with my best friend, my business partner? I just want us to be in perfect harmony. When is this chemo going to be over for my friend or my relative, my family member? Right? When is this, when is this just going to end? And you might be going through a storm right now in your life, but understand that it's a storm. It's not going to be the end all be all. So you have to stay with it. You have to go through that. You ha if you want to see the light, ladies and gentlemen, let's put it in perspective. You have to die to see the other side. We're all going to die. I don't know what you believe in, but I believe when I die, I'm going to go to a place so much greater than this place that we're, we're at right now that we call earth or the world. Whether that's another dimension, you might want to say, whether that's heaven, right? Whether that's another portal, whatever you believe. But I understand we're all going to die. And you have to be okay with that. So whenever people say, Nate, I'm scared of dying. It's like, nah, don't be scared of dying. Because if you're scared of dying, you're scared of going to that another realm. Well, Nate, but I get a little anxious and fearful because, well, guess what? None of us has ever experienced it before. In order to get to the light, you have to go through the storm. You have to go through the dark to get to the other side. I'm four years into my company, Simba Marketing. Right now we have a bunch of other branches that are getting branched off as well. And I mean, I'll tell you one thing, whenever you watch this video, if it's a couple or a few years from now, you're gonna see where we're at and you're gonna be like, wow, Nate's been consistent with it. And I have been, I know where we're going. I know where I'm going. I got a mission, I got a plan, and I'm going to make damn well sure that we continue to, to strive and make this world a better place by servicing others. Mark my words. Watch the date on this video and see where we're at in a couple of few years. But I realize, you know, we've had to go through moments. We've had to go through different storms. There's been times where we've almost broken up our partnership based upon other outside factors that really didn't serve us any well. We thought they did. We wanted to believe they did, but they didn't. So it's like we each go through our individual storms. Sometimes people don't make it out of that storm and they commit suicide. They end it. You want to know what's crazy? Some people do make it out of the storm and they, and they get to the light. But you have to understand that the light in your perspective isn't somebody else's light in their perspective. So the light, meaning they have pretty much anything that can have in this world. They have all the money, they have all the fame, but to them, that's not light anymore. At a moment in time it was, but to them, the roles reversed and the light now is just being happy 
being with those that they love and making this world a better place. That's why some of these greatest actors and actresses, they struggle so much with depression because they act. They play a certain role all the time. And whenever you see them out in public, it's like people recognize them for just those roles that they were playing. And when you get recognized for playing a certain role, that gets to your head. That really gets to your head. And then you know, they get all depressed. They got to have these pills. And that's why I always try to have people understand, listen, you need to become accustomed before the success. You need to understand what it's like to have self-love, understanding faith, understanding the power of meditation, having that alone time, understanding the power of just talking to yourself. Because whenever you make it and you already understand that, your mental health will be extremely great. Now, you'll have moments, but the thing is, you're prepared. A lot of times, people make it big in today's world and society, and they're just not prepared. I always try to prepare those that are around us. Anybody that ever works for us or any client that we work with or, you know, even with our music artists, I always make sure that, yo, listen, like you're going to win a Grammy. You're going to win awards. You're going to be speaking on stage. This is how we're going to prepare for this for when that time comes. So whenever that time comes, she's automatic. It's not like, you know, I mean, you have to go through your warm ups, but you understand what's expected of you. And it's not just some thing where, what do I do, right? So again, you have to go through the storm. You have to, to see the light with pretty much everything in life. Well, Nate, what about those that are born into like a rich family? They go through their own storms. It's just different. You gotta realize being born into a rich family and leaving a legacy, especially if it's from their father or their mother, that alone is a storm. Because you're always looked upon as that child that is like privileged or that has the silver spoon. Or, But the, the fact of the matter is you don't know their situation. You're just judging from the outside in. Quit judging others. Focus on thyself. Focus on results. Focus on progress. And then watch what happens. Develop an abundant, a grateful attitude instead of trying to figure out other people's lives. Figure out your own life. Plain and simple. Battle through your storms. Don't try to battle through other people's storms. That's why it's their storm. That's why it's your storm. Go through it. And then watch. On the other side, you'll eventually hit that goal. All right. See you on the next one.